One thing that I've always complained about with Minecraft Pocket Edition is that the touchscreen controls suck. You can't bridge quickly, PvP is just a game of who can do more circles around the other, and you literally get six buttons in a prayer that maybe someday you'll be able to get a controller or a keyboard. In my recent experiences playing on mobile, I've genuinely rage quit after about 10 minutes of playing it just because of how bad the controls are currently. But just recently, Microsoft's given us a little bit of hope in a preview version of the game. They added some new touchscreen controls, and in this video, I'll be breaking those down along with giving my thoughts on why they're a start, but definitely still need some work because they're not that good at the moment. If you're interested, let's get started. Alright, so something that's worth keeping in mind is that once again, this is just a preview version of the game. These controls aren't in the full game yet, and there's a decent chance that everything that I say about them will be invalidated within the next few weeks. Still, if you want to go test out the preview for yourself after hearing what I have to say, there will be a link in the description with more information about how to do that. Either way, I still thought it would be cool to talk about a potential development in the future of how we control Minecraft. I mean, the Pocket Edition controls literally have not changed since 2015 when the Crouch button was added. Basically, it's been a long time coming, but we're finally going to see a change to Pocket Edition controls. So, let's talk about what actually changed about the controls. I'm sure you already saw it in the intro, but I'll show another picture of it on screen, and I feel like most people who have played Pocket Edition will be able to tell what's changed. There's a joystick-type control in the bottom left, and there's five different buttons in the middle right. I'll get to what these do in a second, but I also want to talk about the fact that there are multiple different control schemes. You can play on Crosshair, which is also more commonly known as Split, touch, and that's the one that I just showed off, but you can also play on touch, which is kind of just a more simplified version of the controls, also very similar to the old control scheme known as non-split touch, and you can also just play on the classic controls on the new update if you want to as well. But let's get to talking about what the new controls actually do, and to start, let's discuss the crosshair control scheme. Like I said earlier, it's got five different buttons, and six if you want to count the joystick, which is the same amount as the controls we have now, except in the current controls, four of those buttons are used for directional movement. Instead, it's just technically one now, and it frees up your left finger from having to either jump or sneak. That said, if you use the new controls, your right fingers will have to do quite a lot more now. Going from the top, we have the up arrow, which is basically just your jump, and if you double tap it in creative, you can fly. The double right pointing arrows are your sprint button now, and if you've ever played on keyboard and mouse, you can kind of think of this as your control key or whatever you use for sprint. The down pointing arrow is your crouch or sneak, which is pretty self-explanatory. And the last two buttons, in my opinion, are the biggest things of this entire controls update. The pointer finger button can kind of be thought of as like a right click on a mouse or a left trigger on a controller. This is your interact button and it can be used for things like placing blocks, opening chests, feeding animals, all of that kind of stuff. And then the last button is your attack or break button and it's pretty much the opposite. It's like the left click on the mouse, right trigger on a controller, and can be used for things like hitting players or animals, breaking blocks, all that sort of stuff. Like I said earlier, there is a simplified version of these controls called touch, but I don't see too much reason to talk about this all that much, just because it moves your jump and sneak button to the same side of the screen. It's pretty much still just the old version of the controls. But with the new crosshair controls, mobile players can actually do something that they've been wanting to do for a while, but literally just hasn't been possible because of the nature of the old controls. Jump bridging is now possible on mobile with these controls. Because you have the option to basically right click now, you can do the bridging mechanic where you place blocks in a line in front of you. Mobile players previously weren't able to do this on the old controls because there wasn't a designated way to just place blocks and not break them. Now, like I said at the beginning, these controls are a step in the right direction for mobile, but there are definitely still some problems and caveats with them. First of all, there's no way to customize these controls in any way other than the preset options that Minecraft gives you. I've personally said in the past that Minecraft needs to give the players some way to just customize their controls completely. Like PUBG or Brawl Stars or any mobile game that has controls like these, you basically have full power over where you want the controls to be on the screen. On Minecraft Pocket Edition though, on the old controls, basically the only power that you had was to be able to swap the positions of jump and sneak, and you could change the button size. On the new controls, you've got a couple of different options now. For example, you can straight up remove the sprint button if you want and basically just have auto sprint, or you can make it so that your crouch is toggleable or not. And finally, you can also still change the button size if you want to, though from what I've found, changing the button size doesn't 
doesn't actually change the size of the joystick at all, which on my iPad is fine, it's still a pretty decent size, but on my phone the joystick literally takes up half the screen and once again you can't change the size of it. It's probably just a bug or an oversight, but it's still kind of annoying. And finally, my last issue with the controls is that even if you're not able to customize where the controls actually are on the screen completely, they're still in a really awkward spot to begin with. Why are they in the vertical middle of the screen? Like, I have to use a really weird grip to even use the controls properly, and it doesn't really make sense why they're not in the bottom right or something. But either way, I'm sure small things like that will probably be fixed in future iterations of these controls, and they probably just rush these out right now to get public opinion for it. It's just weird though that it's even like that in the first place. Still, something to keep in mind throughout all of this is that I actually haven't been able to test these controls out on a server. That's because literally zero servers have updated their software to be able to support preview versions like this. It makes sense, but it also kind of sucks that I'm not able to test out the controls in a real server environment. Still, because I create a lot of content on PvP, I did try the controls out in some world PvP just to get some experience of what it would be like, and it went about as well as you'd expect for someone who basically never uses touchscreen controls. But in all seriousness though, it honestly wasn't horrible. I know that in PvP, split controls are generally regarded as the inferior version to use, but like I said earlier, the fact that you have an option to choose between essentially your left and right click or your attacking and interacting with items is honestly really useful. Here's what my friend Super had to say about them. Honestly, the new mobile controls, I think they're better than before. Um, they're still scuffed, but that's probably because it's the beta. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it, it's definitely a step in like the right direction for mobile controls. I think it's just better. Now, if and when these controls are released to the full game, we'll see how they hold up against players that actually know how to use the current controls properly, but I think in non-PvP situations like literally just playing the game or building, these controls are likely going to be really useful just because of the versatility of what you can do with them. Like I've said time and time again, the fact that you have both an interact and a hit or break option makes your quality of life so much better in the game. You shouldn't have to worry about misclicking as much, or pressing on something and not having the intent a result, like accidentally breaking some insta-break items when you only wanted to place another. Either way, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture of all of this. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like the sentiment for a while has been that mobile controls definitely need some work. I feel like this preview update shows that Minecraft is at least listening a little bit. Obviously, in the past few years on Bedrock Edition, we've had quite a lot of updates that are just straight up bad, gaining it the name Minecraft Bug Rock Edition. And even this controls update, while it's pretty good, it's not perfect either. There's still definitely some issues with it like I outlined earlier. However, the fact that this was put in the preview version of Minecraft before going to the real game is a step in the right direction. I feel like we need to see most updates going through the preview version before we see them come to the live game, just so we don't have absolutely game-breaking bugs that make the game unplayable for weeks on end. If you want to learn more about these bugs that have been plaguing Bedrock Edition recently, I recommend going and watching the video that just showed up on your screen that talks about it more in depth. Either way, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.